Trump is preparing punishment for Russia due to US dollar. If elected President of the United States at the end of 2024, Donald Trump may impose penalties for countries abandoning the dollar, in particular for Russia. Possible actions include, in particular, export controls and fees for currency manipulation. Bloomberg reports this. It is noted that penalties should be applied to US allies and opponents trying to carry out bilateral trade in other currencies. Economic advisers to former President Donald Trump are considering ways to actively prevent countries from abandoning the use of the dollar. Trump publicly and privately said that he wants the dollar to remain the world's reserve currency. The article reads, Analysts remind critical statements about the dominance of the dollar in the global financial system began to spread in 2022, when the United States imposed tough economic sanctions against Russia. In particular, then the Russian Central Bank, members of the government and about 2,500 other persons restricted access to the dollar. In return, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, collectively known as the BRICS countries, discussed de-dollarization at a summit in August 2023. This group seeks global influence, encouraging the accession of key oil-producing countries, Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, the article reads. At the same time, its authors note that the BRICS countries may be subject to fines for abandoning the dollar. Trump's advisers say this is the project that could be targeted during his potential second term. Analysts said, I hate when countries go off the dollar. Trump said in a March 11 interview on CNBC, I would not allow countries to go off the dollar because when we lose that standard, that will be like losing a revolutionary war, he said. That will be a hit to our country. As president, Trump weighed forcibly weakening the dollar to support the domestic manufacturing sector. But now, so far he has privately said he doesn't currently see the merits of dollar intervention, according to one person familiar with the matter. With Biden, you're going to lose the dollar as the standard. That'll be like losing the biggest war we've ever lost, he said, blaming Biden's policies for damaging views towards the dollar. Germany disrupts delivery of 400 MRAP armoured vehicles to Ukraine. The German government has promised to provide up to 400 units of mine-resistant ambush-protected heavy-wheeled armoured vehicles with enhanced mine protection to the Ukrainian military build reports. The contract for the supply of armoured vehicles was signed by the Ukrainian authorities and the German defence company Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH with funding from the German budget totaling 315 million euros. The German Ministry of Defence says that all the armoured vehicles are to be delivered this year. At the same time, the agency obtained a document from the German Ministry of Defence dated September last year, which states that M wraps for the armoured forces of Ukraine should be delivered in batches of 20 from January to October 2024. However, deliveries have not yet begun. According to the German agency, the plan for 2024 was reduced first to 200 and then to 100 armoured vehicles and the start of deliveries was postponed from January to May to June. The reason is that Flensburger Fazugbau GmbH receives spare parts for MRAPs from the United States and only assembles them in Germany. The company faced export license restrictions from the United States to Germany and problems with mine protection certification. Since the first days of the Russian invasion, Germany has proved to be one of Ukraine's most reliable allies, providing it with comprehensive military, political and financial support. Berlin has sent Kiev an impressive arsenal of weapons, including various types of artillery pieces, leopard tanks of both old and new modifications, Iris-T and Patriot air defence systems, ammunition, vehicles, drones and much more. Germany has recently added a new military aid package to this list, once again demonstrating its firm stance in supporting Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. There are rumours that the actual amount of military aid from Germany may be lower than officially declared. The German government stated that Ukraine had received 28 billion euros of military aid. However, the data shows a significantly lower amount according to BUILD. A part of the 6 billion euros, around 2.6 billion euros promised as military aid to Kyiv will go to other countries and for the rearmament of the Bundeswehr. 
the amount of 3.4 billion euros may be reimbursed to Germany from EU funds. Taking this data into account, it turns out that the actual promised military aid to the Ukrainian armed forces is only 21.7 billion euros.